Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. So this is an age old question that keeps going around and around again and again and again. Am I too old to play the violin? So the short answer is no. <laughs> so that's it. So you can all switch off this video now and just move on with your life. You are never too old to play the violin. If you want the long answer, here's the long answer. So. I think traditionally uh, people think that it's a children's game, you know? So playing the violin, playing the piano, playing the clarinet, playing the flute, whatever instrument it is, they think it's a children's thing to do. So yes, granted, most children do learn to play an instrument at an early age. And I will admit that it's probably quite easy to learn to play an instrument at that age, but not for the reasons that you think I'm gonna discuss more on that in just a second. But it's really down to the fact that you just need time. You just need time. In fact, you need two things. You need time and you need effort. So the reason why people think that if they're adults, they can't learn to play the violin, they're too old, which is absolute hogwash, by the way. The reason being is that children just have a lot of time on their hands. Children are very disciplined. They go to school, they get up, they go to school, they come back, they eat, they do their studying, they go to bed, you know, that kind of thing. And in between that, they're adding in extracurricular exercises, netball, hockey, you know, football, that kind of thing, playing an instrument, dancing, anything else that they're doing, all those extracurricular activities. And parents will, parents will work around their children's education. So parents are all too happy to invest in children's education, as my parents did the same with me. I started violin and piano when I was, when I was four years old, you know, and I know lots of students, I've taught lots of students at the age, from the age of four and from the age of five and upwards, you know, and a very, very small percentage of those actually go in to taking this onto a professional career later on. But that's got nothing to do with uh, starting as a child. It's just, I've gone into this career, I've chosen a career in music because I really like it. I really like playing the violin and I really like playing the piano and I happen to be really good at it as well. And I'm really, really good at teaching. So it wasn't just something that for me, I just thought, oh, because I was a child and you know, it's what I was gonna do. I was just really good at it. I just loved it. It's all I wanted to do. I was just good at it. So for me, that's why I took it on. But in terms of going back to why am I too old? The children thing, I think, is that they're just more disciplined. So it's easy to fit it into their lifestyle, to have the extracurricular lessons on a Saturday or after school, that kind of thing. Now, when you're an adult, that's a lot harder because you've got to find time to, de to dedicate to. So, you know, if you're working a nine till five, you're working 40, 50 hours a week, um, you know, you come home and you've got children to deal with and all, you know, life stuff, all the other kind of stuff that you've got to do. You've then got to physically find the time. You know, you've got to find, let's say, 45 minutes to an hour every day to dedicate as your time to do the practicing. So that's that's kind of where it makes it a little bit harder as an adult compared to a child. So, you know, again, people think it's a children's thing. So if they don't start as a child, they absolutely can't learn to play the violin. But when you break it down and think of it like that, why? Those things that I've just said there do not stop anyone playing the violin. So now we realize that age has nothing to do with it at all. Age does not come into the conversation because you know, th there is no age limit on learning to play an instrument. It's just the time constrictions are much easier as a child compared to being an adult. However, if you are an adult who wants to dedicate that time, can find time to do it, then, you know, that's where you can knock yourself out. So in terms of teaching children in comparison to teaching adults, let's just say that as an adult, you've got the time to dedicate to it. So time in a separate box on its own, that box is ticked. So now you've got the whole teaching children, teaching adults. Now I've taught, I've taught thousands of students over the years I've been teaching. I've been teaching for over 20 years. So thousands of students have, have come and gone through my school and all different ages from the age of four to five, all the way up to um, adults in their eighties. I teach a lot of people from 60 and upwards, actually. A lot of the more retired um, students, I would say. Learning between the two, 
no no real difference i think a lot of it has to depend on how much time you can dedicate dedicate into it now they do say that children learn a bit quicker yes possibly but not all the time i've taught children that have learned very very quickly just their aptitude of, of learning has just been you know astonishing i've taught adults that have learned even quicker i've taught children that have have learned very slowly indeed and that's no disrespect to them i've learned i've taught adults that have learned very slowly indeed again no disrespect to anybody no one compares anybody to anyone no one judges anyone to anyone and you know least of all or me i go at the pace of that student and i push that student you know and, and to learn as quickly and as thoroughly and as effortlessly effort, effortlessly as i possibly can but and um, my point is that i've taught I've taught lots of people and lots of children at all different ages and all different levels and they're all learning at different speeds, I can tell you. So being a child and being an adult has nothing to do with playing the violin. Like I said, I've taught some children that pick it up very quickly. I've taught some children that pick it up very slowly. I've taught adults at the same. It's got, for me, it's got nothing to do with age. It's got more to do with probably, um, it's probably got more to do with whether you have more of a skill, a talent or a flair towards the instrument. But also I've taught adults that have not necessarily been particularly skilled at the instrument or technically perfect, I should say, but they've picked it up very quickly because they've dedicated the time to it, which never worries me because I always think, you know, if, if I am as good a teacher as I think I am, I can teach them the skill, I can teach them the talent, and I can teach them the dexterity and the technicalities that they need to. All I need them to do is to do the part that I can't do for them, which is physically tell, you know, physically pick up the violin and play it for them myself. I can't do that. Once they've got that, I can teach the talent in, I can teach it into anybody, you know? So do you see what I'm saying here? This learning to play the violin has got nothing to do with 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 age or, or or anything like that the kind of other part of this as well is people think that children you know if you don't learn to play the violin as a children or uh, if you don't learn to play the violin as a child or the piano or whatever it is you cannot be a professional musician absolute nonsense never heard so much nonsense in all of my life so i would say as an adult and at, probably as a child as well you need five years to become an intermediate player now you could be working through my 1 to 30 violin course whatever you could be with a team whatever it is you still need on average i'd say about five years to get yourself to an intermediate level now an intermediate level i would describe that as someone who is is competent someone that can play more or less whatever they want to play someone that is playing well above beginner level someone who can read music someone who can pick up a piece of music put it in front of them they're not going to be able to play it straight away right off the bat but they will be able to learn into it so an intermediate player is someone who who has learned everything they need to know about music so they can pick up a piece of music like that and they can understand they, they can understand if you are watching this video and you are an adult and you're looking for you, you're looking for a justification to play you're looking for a reason to learn to play because everybody in your family and all your friends are telling you that you're too too old to learn to play which is absolute nonsense then try my 1 to 30 violin course i'll put some information in the link um, directly underneath this video but my 1 to 30 violin course is a fully interactive a downloadable course that will take you from a complete beginner to a very accomplished intermediate level so if you are an adult and you are looking for some guidance you're looking for some justification you're looking for someone like me to kind of help just push you over the edge into learning to play the violin or piano or whatever it is because all of your friends and family are telling you that you're too well to play which is utter nonsense by the way then why don't you try my 1 to 30 violin course i'll put a link below directly underneath with all the information so my course comprises of the first 10 levels lessons which are 100% free with all the resources normal all the materials and everything that you need along with three tutorial books and three songbooks 
I'll put more links and info, as I said, underneath this video. But after the first 10 lessons, I 100% guarantee that you will be playing like you've never imagined. So forget all the, all the rubbish about everybody telling you're too old. I'm telling you absolute rubbish. And I'm telling you from a professional musician who's been playing for 37 odd years now, and I've been teaching for about 20, about 20 years of those with thousands of students, old, young, whatever, coming through my doors. I had a very, very successful music school. I used to be an examiner for the London College of Music here in the UK. So I've got a lot of experience and I can tell you, age does not matter. So go and check out that course underneath. It teaches you the proper, professional and classical way. So five years to become an intermediate player, 10 years if you wanna become a master or a professional. So you need 10 years. So basically, if you just wanna play for fun, five years, four or five years, in and around that kind of time, will get you from nothing, complete beginner, don't know anything, don't even know what way the violin is up and what way the violin is down. Five years will get you from, you know, knowing nothing about nothing to a very decent intermediate level that you will be happy with. If you want to take this further and you want to earn some money out of it, you want to play, uh, you want to play in pubs and bars and at weddings, you want to, you want to teach people, that kind of thing, you'll then need to take that a little bit further and you'll probably need 10 years to become a professional. So someone who is in their 40s or someone who is 40, you know, by the time you're 45, boom, you're playing to a perfectly uh, satisfied level for you. By the time you get to 50, more or less in and around, you know, you, you could then potentially be earning money from that. Again, if you started at 20, by the time you're 30, you know, you can be earning money. Again, there's just this stigmatism that if you start at four or five, let's just say, by the time you're 15, then, you know, you're at the time where you're going to college, you're going to university, um, you're going on to further education. And that ties in nicely with a career, doesn't it? Especially if you want to do a career in music, but there's nothing wrong with having a mid-life career change. You just need a brain, <laughs> which everybody's got. You need a course, which I of course have linked underneath. Then you obviously need your instrument of choice, violin or piano. Those are the two things that obviously I teach. Then you need five years or 10 years if you wanna take that professionally. So my goodness, are you too old to learn to play the violin? <laughs> um, absolutely not, go and do it. And yes, I am shamelessly plugging my courses, but guys, they're, they're really good, my course, is really really good i'm very passionate at what i do as you know um i'm very good at what i do um obviously my head is is getting massive right now but you know you you guys know that i'm i'm very passionate at what i do in in all my videos and the way i deliver all my content and material you know i don't i don't like any of this learn in two weeks learn in 30 days nonsense you, you cannot do it so, you know, my courses are delivered professionally. They're based off 20 odd years of teaching and all the professional commitments um, and achievements that I've, I've gained over my years, along with my university degree in music, etc., etc. You know, I just, I just love it. I can't get enough of it. So I'm here to tell you that if anybody tells you you cannot play because you are too old, you need to just, you, you just need to walk away, just ignore it, buy my course, link underneath and just get on with it. And I promise you, I promise you, after the first 10 lessons, you will be playing. And that's an absolute guarantee and a promise. So thank you very much for watching. This has been a particularly long video, but it's a very long discussion, this kind of thing. And I do get very annoyed when, when people comment and say, I, you know, am I too old to play? you know, it puts them off playing and they've always wanted to play for years, but everybody's always told them you've got to be, oh, you've got to be five to be, able, to be able to play. Do you know what? I even get comments from 10 year olds and 11 and 12 year olds saying, am I too old? Absolutely not. Get on with it. Just do it. So this video has now been nearly 20 minutes long. So I'm going to have to cut that down a little bit. Thank you very much for watching all the links to my course that you, I know you're going to love. There's no scams, no, no nonsense going on at their play in two minutes rubbish, all done the pro proper professional classical way 
from a proper professional classical British musician. You're gonna love it. I know you will. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.